name is Roxy and I want to welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make a very beautiful poncho. And um, this poncho is adapted to any size. It's very very easy to make and it's working very fast. The yarn that I use is Nako Mohair Delicate. And I uh, put the yarn in to strain. Uh, for this poncho, um, I use almost four skeins for uh, S size, and uh, it's also uh, almost good for the M size. But I will give you all information that you need for each size the crochet that I use is seven millimeters for the poncho and <clears throat> for the front of the neck edge I use crochet number five and also all around at the bottom I use also the crochet number five millimeters uh, it's not necessary to use the yarn who is suitable with the crochet number seven because um, you need to use a very soft yarn okay because as you can see this poncho um, it's a uh, very delicate and uh, we don't need to use the yarn who it is suitable with the crochet number seven but you can uh, use also for this poncho crochet number five 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 point five six six point five seven okay um i hope you like it if you like my work please subscribe to my channel and also if you want the written pattern you can find it here at the bottom in my presentation so let's begin as you can see i already make one part at uh, this poncho because the poncho is made with two rectangles with the same number of stitch and with the same number of rows in my case um, I make for the S size and look how beautiful texture has and it is look very very soft and now for the XS size you need to chain 33 okay and you work until you have 66 centimeter for the s uh, uh, s size as in my case because i work for the s size for the s size you need a 35 centimeter here and here you need 70 for the M you need 36 and here you need 72 for the L you need <coughs> Uh, 37 37 and here you need 74 for Excel um, <coughs> 38 or maybe 38.5 here and here you need uh, 77 for XXL you need 
40 and here you need 80 okay uh, the number of stage that you need to chain is a number who is multiple with 2 or a number who can be divided by 2 okay so uh, my advice um, is before you begin to make this poncho to make a test with the crochet that you want to use and also with with the yarn if you want to look very beautiful like that you can use crochet number five 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 point point five millimeter six six point five seven eight okay so don't use a, a small crochet number because we need to have this texture for uh, your poncho and now I will show you how to make the stitch so in my case uh, I chain for the 35 centimeter here I chain 50 and uh, let's begin with the first row we make two rows who is repeat only uh, if you obtain the length that you need okay so we repeat two rows over and over again okay and uh, I chain 50 and this number can be divided by 2 but after we make the first row because we skip one stitch you will have a number who can't be divided by 2 okay but this is the number that we need okay so after you change the number that you need skip one stitch and into the next make single crochet and we make single crochet in every chain we work a little large don't work tight okay so we make single crochet in every stitch until we finish the row and then I will show you after I finish this row I will show you how to make the next row I finish the first row with single crochet in every chain and now we make the row number two chain one turn your work and into the first stitch make slip stitch into the next half double crochet into the next slip stitch into the next half double crochet so at this row we repeat one slip stitch one half double crochet okay one moment to make some so slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet one more time slip stitch half double crochet and look when we turn we already have this texture okay this will be the outside and this it is the inside okay so continue to make half double crochet and slip stitch until you almost finish the row 
and then I will show you how to finish and how to begin the next row. I almost finished the row and at this row is very important. The first stitch and the last stitch must be made with slip stitch. So I make half double crochet and into the last make slip stitch. Okay? Chain one, turn your work and look how beautiful it is. And now at this row we make in every stitch single crochet. Okay? Very important here where you insert the crochet. Don't insert here. We insert here the crochet for the single crochet. Okay? And also don't work tight. Okay? So make single crochet in every stitch until you finish the row. Uh, I will finish this row and then I will show you one more time how to make this stitch. I finished the row with single crochet, okay? And look, the last single crochet is made also into the last stitch. Chain one, turn your work, and into the first stitch, make slip stitch. Into the next, half double crochet. Into the next, slip stitch. Into the next, half double crochet. Slip stitch, half double crochet. Slip stitch, half double crochet. One more time. Slip stitch, half double crochet. And look how beautiful and it is very very simple and also is working very fast okay so make a uh, two rectangles with the same number of stitch and with the same number of rows after you finish these two rectangles i will show you how to join to form the uh, the poncho. I finish these two rectangles and now it's time to join. Um, my advice is uh, to make the last row with single crochet. Look, this is for me the last row is with single crochet and also the first with is with single crochet and now you count the stitch that you have in my case uh, I uh, have 49 and put one rectangle like that and count Uh, for every stitch you have one row so one stitch one row and I count to bottom I count 49 rows and I put a stitch marker and look it is exactly as I need and also, when you begin to join, we put the stitch over the rows and we join like that. The stitch over the rows. Okay? And 
after we join the first part or your poncho will look like that okay and now <clears throat> and also for the join for example i use crochet number seven for the two rectangles for the join i use crochet number five and i will join with a large slip stitch okay so this is the row rows this is the stitch make a slip knot and insert the crochet into the first chain and also into the first row okay and now we begin to join insert the crochet into the next chain and then into the next row and join with slip stitch insert the crochet into the next stitch then into the next row join with slip stitch a large slip stitch insert the crochet into the next chain and then into the next row join with slip stitch insert the crochet into the next chain then into the next row join with slip stitch one more time insert the crochet into the next chain then into the next row join with slip stitch and look it is perfect okay continue until you finish to join and then i will show you how to uh, put these two rectangles to form the poncho i finished to join and look how beautiful it is and at this moment your poncho look like that okay and it is with the outside up now you turn the poncho with like that with the outside up I turn with the outside up and it is like that and now you take the right part and you put over the left part okay Now you take this part at the bottom and you put like that. Okay? And also after you made like that, you count the number of rows, put a stitch marker. As you make when I you begin you join uh, the first two rectangles, okay? And look after you turn like that, 
the poncho is almost ready okay so join to here until here and also put the stitch over the rows okay and then I will show you how to make the uh, the edge of the collar I finished to join and it is perfect and look I don't cut the yarn because now we make here a little edge around three or maybe four rows with the same crochet that you uh, join the rectangles and chain two one and two and uh, here into the V we decrease one time here one time when we finish the row one time at the shoulders here one time here and also here we decrease one time here one time but I will show you insert the crochet into the next row because here we have rows and make one unfinished double crochet then insert the crochet into the next row and also make one unfinished double crochet join them into one and this is one decrease and then I continue to make double crochet in every row until I reach it here at the shoulders okay and then I will show you again how to decrease I reach it at the shoulder here and we make one decrease one unfinished double crochet into the next row make one unfinished double crochet join them into one and now we continue to make double crochet in every row until we have here two rows into the V front one two okay and then I will show you again how to decrease I work until I have two rows here and I make the decrease one unfinished double crochet into the next row make one unfinished double crochet join them into one here where you join you make a normal double crochet And now you decrease again one unfinished double crochet set the crochet in the next row and make one unfinished double crochet join them into one and now you also continue until you reach it here at the shoulders and make one decrease and then continue until you almost finish the row and then I will show you again how to decrease here and how to make the next row I almost finish the row and look here 
you also need to make one decrease one unfinished double crochet and into the next row make also one unfinished double crochet join them into one and here into the last stitch make a normal double crochet and join with slip stitch here where you make the first decrease because the chain two at the beginning of the row don't count and join with slip stitch chain two in my case uh, I uh, need to decrease one more time and also we decrease at the beginning at the end so two times <coughs> in this V front one time at the shoulders two time here at the V front one time at the shoulders but at the same time we make a different stitch and we make here the first stitch we make normally and we make from post double crochet and into the next two stitch we make the decrease and we make back post double crochet and we take two stitch at the same time see one two and I make only one stitch and now I work normally from post double crochet and back post double crochet in every stitch until I reach it here where I decrease one moment here it is the decrease in my case look and I will work until here and I will show you one more time how to decrease I reach it here where I make the decrease at the shoulders but at this row the decrease I make uh, before at this decrease okay and also I take two stitch at the same time and I make back post double crochet okay and now you continue to work front post double crochet and back post double crochet until you reach it here at the way front and you also until here where you have four stitch but look this is a uh, a decrease and you count as one stitch okay so one two three four okay and also make uh, if you need you make two decrease and work until you have four stitch if you need to decrease only one time here and one time here you work until you have to stitch okay and then make the normal stitch here and make again one decrease or maybe two depend uh, how many stitch you need to decrease and also for example if you need more to decrease here into the front you can make uh, two decrease here to decrease here other way and also to decrease here 
to decrease heat, but only uh, uh, if you need, okay? So I continue and in my case, I make one decrease here, one decrease here, as I show you. Then I will make one decrease at the shoulder and I continue until I finish the row. And then I will show you how to make the next row. I almost finished the row and look, the last decrease is here where I make leg post double crochet. <clears throat> and now join with slip stitch here into the first uh, front post double crochet and your row is ready. Now you continue to work normally exactly as the stitch are one front post double crochet one back post double crochet all around in my case i think i will make two rows if i need to make more i will make but at this moment i don't know and chain two the chain two don't count and make back post double crochet a front post double crochet sorry back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet okay continue all around when you finish join with slip stitch here into the first stitch after i finish uh, this collar for the front I will show you how to continue I finish this little collar for the front and look how beautiful it is and also I chain until I uh, obtain the length that I need here for the front if you don't want to make it, don't make it. I'm, I want uh, to make uh, like that because only for design. But it's your choice if you want to make it or not. So chain so many stitch you need until you obtain the length all around. And then you can make a little pom-pom or uh, put two buttons who is match with your poncho okay but if you don't want don't make it and now we need to make all around all around here and here we need to make single crochet I will begin from here here where you have rows for every row you make one a single crochet where you have st stitch you make normally single crochet okay so insert the crochet wherever you want Make a slip knot, chain one, and make single crochet. Okay? I work until I reach it here at the corner because we have one, uh, two corners one into the front, one into the back. moment until I make some okay and now here at the corner we make three single crochet into the same stitch one 
two and three. Okay. And now you continue to make single crochet. And this single crochet I work also with the crochet number five. With this crochet I make also the little edge here into the front. But uh, you need to make this single crochet a little large okay and continue to make single crochet all around see until you reach here at the next corner at this corner you also make three single crochet into the same stitch and then continue until you finish when you finish join with slip stitch here into the first single crochet after I finish uh, I will show you the last part at this poncho and I'll show you how to make the teasels as you can see, I begin to make the teasels. Look how beautiful it is. And for the teasel, you uh, need to cut the yarn. For example, look, my teasel has eight centimeter. Okay, and I think it's perfect like that. And if you want to obtain eight centimeter for each teasel, uh, you need to cut the yarn and look how many. Okay, you need to cut the yarn until you have twenty centimeter. If you want to obtain the teaser at eight centimeter, okay. So, for the teaser, if you want to have eight, you need to cut the yarn until you have twenty centimeter. And now, when you begin to make the teaser. You always begin here at the corner, okay? And you continue all around. And you make one teasel, then you skip one. One teasel, one skip, okay? all around uh, for each uh, teaser I use I put three uh, four threads but if you uh, want your teaser to be a little big you can put in five or if you want a little small you can put in three and now take this yarn bend the three into the half okay and now take the crochet look skip one stitch into the next insert the crochet from inside and pull all this yeah and then make a large loop insert one finger and then the second like that and 
Bun. Okay? I'll show you one more time. Okay. It takes time until you make these are all around, but I think it is more beautiful. Okay, skip one stitch into the next, insert the crochet from inside, then pull and make a large loop, insert one finger, then the second, and make a knot okay after you finish to make the teaser all around your poncho is ready i hope you like it if you like my work please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and bye bye